A is for angry. Ooh, I do think this is an angry aardvark. Why do you suppose he's angry? His balloon is all popped, isn't it? His eyes are inward and his mouth is down and his body looks stiff. That is angry. An animal and adjective alphabet. Adjectives are descriptive words. This is by Sandra Boynton. A is for angry. Ooh, I love the little little rabbits. This book belongs to. Is that a spot for you to say your book belongs to? Looks like we got a bunch of the alphabet. Ooh, how does this kitty cat feel? Hmm? I think A is for angry for him too. Look, he got a big frowny face. His eyebrows are pointed in. Mm-hmm. All right. Sandra Boyton's A is for angry. Frog. I love that the first letters are colored. Eel. Duck. Crocodile. Beaver. Aardvark. Angry animals advancing along an arrow. Workman Publishing Company. This is called alliteration. It means all of the words start with the same letter and sound. Ah, 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 ah. A sound. <laughs> I just love the eel. He's, he's like, I'm going. He's so determined. Even though he's completely flat. P is for Pam. And so is this book, A Precious Penguin. I like it. All right. Oh, you know what I love best is that this anteater is different than the other one. A is for angry. See, he's got his face pointed down, his eyebrows pointed in. And he's an anteater, and here's an ant. I think he's angry, he can't reach the ant. It's too high up on the A. All right. B is for bashful. Bashful is kind of like shy. So I think, who? which one of them do you think is shy? Is it the bear or the bunny? Which one of them's being shy or bashful? It's the bear. He's hiding behind the B. And see, he's kind of curved in a little bit. And the bunny's looking at him. I think they want to be friends. C. Cat is for clean. Is that how your kitty cat takes a bath? Mm-mm. <laughs> kitty cats usually go <laughs> and lick themselves clean. But occasionally you do need to give a kitty cat a bath, especially if they're babies. All right, D is for dirty. Dogs do like to jump in the mud and get dirty. Do your dogs like to play in the mud? Mine does. Oh, I want to count the paw prints. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven paw prints. All right, let's get to the next letter. E is for inter energetic. But just some of you are energetic. Elephant. He's so energetic and full of energy that he's lifting up the E. F is for frightened. The fox seems to be frightened of the flying fish. Well, I would be pretty surprised. Where'd those fish come from? Goodness. And flying fish can actually jump out of the water, which is why they're called that. So they really do look like they're flying. G is for grumpy. I get grumpy when I'm tired or hungry. I bet you do too. And here's a gorilla. Does he look happy? Mm -mm, looks grumpy. Eyebrows in. 
Another G would be grouchy. H is for hungry. Oh, the poor hippopotamus is taking a chunk out of the H because he's hungry. I is for ill. Oh my goodness, I think eating that eye made the iguana feel ill. He feels sick. Poor thing. J is for jazzy. Look at that cool jazzy jaguar. Does look pretty cool. He's got a scarf, shades. His arms are crossed. He's leaning. He's got a lot of attitude. K is for kind. Here are some koalas. Looks like the adult koala is being kind to the baby. L is for loud. Do you ever get loud? I bet you do. What do you see here? The lion is loud. So loud the poor little lambs are running away and that one went flipping away. He could fit in his mouth. Oh my goodness. M is for Mary. So they're happy and having fun. The mice are. How many mice? One, two, three. N is for nosy. Ooh, the newts want to see what the mice are doing. They're checking them out. Maybe they're doing something cool. How many newts are there? One, two, three, four, five. Orange newts. O is for outraged. The possum. You don't say the O at the beginning of this name. Possum. O or O possum. But look, he's looking, he's angry. Knitted eyebrows. P is for playful. The pig is copying the possum. I think the possum thinks he's making fun of him, but the pig just wants to play. Q is for quick. Here's the quail running quickly around the queue. R is for rotund. Rotund is a way to say that someone is large and kind of round. Like a rhinoceros is rotund. S is for sleepy. The snake looks sleepy. Oh, look, he's got bags under his eyes and his eyes are drooping. Good night, snake. T is for tangled. Oh my goodness. The turkey is tangled in a turkey trap. What well, this looks like the cord of a telephone. This <laughs> is what's called a rotary phone because the dial spins in a circle. And it goes click, 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 click. I bet you haven't seen one of those except for maybe in a museum. When I was little, my family still had one of those. And it would ring so loud because there was an actual bell in it. U is for upside down. Ooh. He's upside down. I'm not sure how to say this, you know? That's my best guess for now. V is for vain. The vulture is being vain. What that means to be vain is to be overly concerned with your appearance. That you think that you are just so gorgeous. So obsessed with it. That is vain or vanity. W is for wide. See how wide the walrus is? Stretch, stretch, stretch. She's a whole two pages. We're almost done. X isn't for anything. Oh. <laughs> okay. Y 
is for young. Here's a yak with its young, its baby little young. Yeah. Young can also just mean child, like the babies. They're young. Z, zebra is for zany. Isn't that a zany zebra? Oh, and what's after this? Z is for zoo. Oh, look at all the animals. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time won't you sing with me? Zoo. Oh, my family loves the zoo. <gasps> Ooh, and Z is for Z. All the animals are sleeping. The end. Here's our timid turtle, our happy horse, our enormous emu, the well, which got two e's. The nervous numbat and the doubtful duck. All right, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the A is for angry. I had fun. Hopefully you did too. You have a great day.